All right, so as you can see from this diagram, um, there are clusters. These are all the people I know. This is my social graph. And you can see that they're clustered. There's, this, um, there's these groups that are surrounded by a kind of a pink circle, and they represent groups of people who are very highly interconnected. They're really connected to each other, and they're only loosely connected to other people. But as you can see, in all the cases, I have one, two, three, four distinct groups showing here. Um, the groups are all at least connected to each other one way, and that's through me. They're all my friends, right? So I'm, in, a, in essence, I'm at the center of the social graph, and, um, and I'm connected to everyone in the social graph. But in addition, you can see, for example, if you look at this, the smaller pink circle, it's connected by one person in that pink circle who connects it to these, this other pink, pink circle. So there's people in each of these groups that are spanning the different groups, and they're the ones through which information might travel from group to group to group. Okay, there are also very important people because if you cut out that one person, these two groups become unattached. So that's the notion of groups, and Facebook, Facebook has only recently come to that notion of groups where your friends are clustered. And frankly, I would imagine that the reason Facebook has come to that notion of groups is because of competition from Google+. Plus. Google+, Plus's main competitive advantage, at least what they were originally selling, is that they know the different social configurations you're in, and you don't always want to share information with everybody in your social network. Sometimes you only want to share information with people in a certain cluster, and you can create those clusters yourself. You can see that people cluster naturally, and it ought to be pretty easy for Facebook to figure out who's in each cluster, and in fact, they can do that. Um, but it's also possible that you yourself can create those clusters and make small groups as small or as large as you want for the purpose of disseminating your information. So groups are a, new, a newer concept, at least in, this, in, um, in social networking applications. Um, and a group is a set of people who, who are connected to each other and only loosely connected to the people around them. And now this, there's functionality in both uh, Facebook and Google Plus to allow you to, dis, to, um, to define those groups.